Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever it is where you are, and welcome back to another episode on the Annoy Dad channel. In today's episode, we are going to have a look and see what changes we have made because, as you will hopefully be aware, from Monday, December the 14th, all poultry and domesticated birds must be kept under cover. That is a legal requirement due to the avian flu, H5N8, which is going around. I'm not quite sure why these guys are rushing in. They've obviously just seen me arrive and are rushing in. So what we're going to do is we're just going to have a quick quiz round. We're going to have a look and we're going to see what I have done. Hopefully that will give you a few ideas and then hopefully um, you might be able to leave me some ideas down in the comments below as well and you'll be able to see how we're doing things and how we're moving forward. So, for those of you who aren't within the UK and who don't know quite what is happening, every year at this time of year, we're November, December, well, we're early December, you get the migratory birds that fly over and it leads to outbreaks of avian influenza, which is just basically a really, really posh way of saying bird flu. So that can kill your flock. And if there is an outbreak within your flock, the government they will come in and they will cull everything basically within the whole area. Now you can see I've set up this area here, but there's nothing in there at the minute. This area was originally going to be for the breeding pens for the geese. However, due to this and a few other things, I haven't done anything with it yet. It will be for the geese soon. There is a 28 page uh, notice, which is issued by the government which explains what you ought to be doing and what you should be doing. And in that, it says that farmed geese, unless it is highly practical, may remain outside, but should not mix with other species of birds. That means that you can let your geese out, but don't let them out with your ducks and other things like that. Now you would have seen I've got some ducks there, but I'll explain that in just a second. Allowing the geese out, because they are larger birds and it also claims that the geese whilst they can get avian influenza they do not display the signs of avian influenza which is why you want to keep them split up let's go in there and have a look bear in mind i do still need to clean them out i keep adding down straw and i think i filmed today and then three days later you know they trashed the place but they've all gone in there because they all think it's bedtime at the minute so right come on geese out See if we can get them out. Okay. Okay, so there goes the geese. They all go running out. And we're left in here with the ducks. All I've done is I've placed some stock fencing and some grids at the moment just to keep the ducks split away from the geese. The ducks have to stay undercover they can't come into any contact with wild birds or anywhere where they might come into contact with wild birds mess. Okay, it's a bit dark and dingy and horrible in here. So let's jump out. Yeah, so as I was saying, the purpose of the regulations is to keep the birds split away from wild birds and wild birds poop. We've got three ducks which are still out there over to the left hand side of the image there. You can see them. They will be put in with those other ducks tonight once they go in. So this has led to us having to make some improvements as I trip over the fence. Now you may remember these cages from the um, old location we used to have. We had the cages and all I've done, because they need totally rewiring. Let me just get the... Causes a bit of a pain when you lock it a bit of wire out the way. So all I have done with these is I have just butted them one against the other. So there's actually two there. And I've just butted them up, nothing in between them. And I've just whacked a tarpaulin over the top. That way, wild birds can't get in. Isn't that right, turkeys? And the wild bird's poop is also gonna struggle to get in. So everything is kept secure-ish. And you can see we've had to move the turkeys into here. Let me try to fight my way out here now. 
<laughs> there you go. So we've moved the turkeys and we've moved some of the chickens that were in with the geese. They've all been moved into here and they seem happy enough. Just whack down some straw bedding for them. Give them a couple of houses because I can then rewire these in the months to come and I can use these, <laughs> use the cages for other birds. And then finally, if we come around here, also still needing some straw. I'm not going to go in there because it's so dark. Um, we've got the main flock of the birds. They don't seem too happy to be in there. Not very happy at all. But they've only been locked away for a few days at the minute. And we need to get them some entertainment. The other thing I need to do is I need to put a light across into there. Just so as, there's a, just so as it can extend their day just a little bit longer. And it makes it not quite so dark in there. Because you can see how dark and horrible it is. But um, yeah, so the land is basically barren of birds at the minute, other than for the geese who are running around. But this is how it's going to stay. I expect at the very earliest we will be released from this lockdown of the birds in approximately the second or the third week of March. That's how long you've got to plan for. So if you've got your own birds, you have to keep them in lockdown. You have to do this up until the second or the third week of March. The last thing you want is for a bird in your flock to come down with, with H5N8 or whichever variant it is, or for any other birds within your local area to come down with it as well. So it's important, it needs to be done, and it's what we're doing. But it does give me the opportunity to crack on and get a few other things done at the same time like putting up these cages i did plan on it i just couldn't work out where to put them but now obviously i've had my hand forced and that is where they are going to be so thank you so much for watching please like please comment please subscribe and until the next video bye bye